cancel culture has been around for like 12 years now and it isn't stopping. People from all ages and ethnicities are getting cancelled, sometimes for good reasons, other times, eh, you get the idea. But why? Why do people feel the need to cancel? Often for idiotic reasons, like this for example. Like, what is this? What are we doing? Cancelling people is a form of destroying someone's reputation. People feel the need to destroy something of others when they're envious of the other person's success. They aren't happy on the inside and then they try to bring someone down to their level of sadness. You can find a lot of these people on Twitter. Now listen, not because you use Twitter does it mean that you are one of these sad individuals. No, the sad trolls are those people who spend more than half of their day on the platform trying to find someone or something to cancel. They are sometimes in love with another something, i.e. a band or activist group, you get the idea. This doesn't just happen on Twitter, but Twitter is the most known. You have some famous examples like Eminem said the n-word a few years ago. Okay. Paul Rubens played with himself in an adult theater. Alright, when Liam Neeson was young and naive, he was a racist. Alright, who really cares? If you genuinely care about this, please get help. Go find a psychologist, or maybe a psychiatrist or get some self-help books. Because these things really don't affect you in any way. You're just trying to give yourself a reason to be angry or disgusted. If only one person was trying to cancel someone, it wouldn't really have any effect because it's just one person. But if a group of like-minded people with similar internalized problems, they can unite and they can cause a ruckus. Now, we all know cancel culture has also done a lot of good things. Like for example, R. Kelly. This guy has some decent music and he had a good career, but he was not a good person. Like seriously, the people that cancelled him shed light on a very dangerous man and brought him to justice. There are many more cases of celebrities who seemed nice and because of cancel culture, we got to see the real person. This is great. This is how it's supposed to be. Not some ludicrous attempt at finding past mistakes of famous people to try and bring them down. Everyone makes mistakes. You shouldn't dwell on this, especially if it doesn't affect you in any way. Please, just go outside, watch the sunrise, go out with friends, clear your mind. And if this doesn't do anything, try to find some self-help books that can guide you to dissolving this inner hate. Some good examples are Anger, Taming a Powerful Emotion from Gary Chapman, The Anger Trap, Free Yourself from Frustrations that Sabotage Your Life from Les Carter, and Letting Go of Anger, The 11 Most Common Anger Styles and What to Do About Them by Ronald Potter Efron. But that's the end of this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you slapped the like button and subscribe. If you didn't or you disagreed, write it down in the comments and let's talk.